All right, so today we're gonna to do a little tuning on this little toothpick two inch. As I showed in my review video for the Avant Vanta Nano 2, this thing flew pretty good on Betaflight 4.1. So I'm gonna first do a little flight here on Betaflight 4.1, then we're gonna upgrade it to Betaflight 4.2 and use the sliders and the app to do a little quick tune on it and see what we get. So a quick little romp here in the front yard. Again, the advantage of running these little quads. I would never do this in my front yard with a nine inch as it would uh, be way too loud. A little breezy today, not too bad though. So let's get the uh, throttle moves, let's get the perfect tuning moves here. We got a get the kids over today. Come on, prop wash. Try some smooth and steady stuff. Now what else? Got throttle chop. Let's do a throttle chop. Pull front. So, giving it some hell. See, there's no bounce back. Do got some throttles. Do have some vibration on full throttle punch. Not too bad though. Just a little. Alright, let's bring this in. We're at 3.5. No, 3.6. We'll give it a little bit more. See, she cuts good, huh? Bring it in. Engines disarmed. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and load up Beta Flight 4.2. We'll set the sliders at default, see what that is, and then we'll go ahead and start tuning a little bit, see what we get. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is just Engines fly it on default. Engines disarmed. Engines armed. This is 4.2 defaults. Engines disarmed. Oops. All right, we'll try that again. That hit in the tree this time. Oh, Jesus. Rates are messing me up. 
I gotta say, the faults it does pretty good. A little bit of wash, but not too bad. I got a bug freaking crawling in my ear. All right, let's uh. Let's goof around with it and see what we got. Engines disarmed. So initial setup here. We're on default. Going to go into the app here. I think what I'm going to turn up first is I'm going to mess with PD gain. I think PD balance is probably close. Let's just uh, push up PD gain. Let's push it up to 1.5. See what that does. All right. So this is going to be PD gain at 1.5. Engines are. I don't see the same. Steady flight. So let's uh, let me get to the spot where I get oscillations. Let's get uh, let's move it up a little bit more. Engines disarmed. All right, so I'm at the screen again here. Let's go to PID tuning. Uh, what do I got? 45s for my D term, huh? You know, let's move PD balance up. 1.5 as well uh, actually no I want to move it down let's go to 0.8 on that move PD gain up a little bit more let's go to 2.0 I want to really yeah yeah let's let's go to 1.8 let's see what that looks like so 0.8 on PD balance so it's actually giving me more D term over here and then it's gonna give me or more p-term, it's going to give me less d-term, but then I also moved up my PD balance as well. So we'll save that and see how that goes. Engines armed. Well, I feel like I can hear a little bit of a vibration there, but let's uh, maybe land this here quick again. Let's slide down my... Actually, I'll just slide down my goggles. There we go. Oh yeah, wash is better. So it's not gone, but it's better. Yeah. You don't get as much. There's still a vibration there, but the jerking doesn't doesn't the jerks aren't as big a deal. see what I want to do from here now so let's take this up hmm. I don't know if I want to get my PD gain up much higher I want to drop this PD balance down a little bit more maybe I'll take the PD gain up one notch so I'm at 2.0 PD gain PD balance brought down to 0.7 let's see how that goes all right so this is going to be PD Gain at two, you balance at 0.7. Engines are. Oh, now you can hear the oscillation, right? You hear that? That flutter oscillation. So we know we went too far. Wash is nice though, huh?
All right, a little bit of jerk there. So I went too far. Let's bring it in. This motors might be getting warm. Engines disarmed. And that is the big thing with these. I want to get to the spot where it's bad so that I know I went too far. So I'm going to bring that PD balance back down. I was at two. I'm going to bring the PD gain back down to let's see, 0.9. I'm going to leave it at 43 and then I'll bring this PD balance back up. So I think that's basically where we're going to have it. Um, let's give that a quick flight and. Um, yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll just bring the feed forward up. P 0 0.8, 0 0.9 for PD gain. Engines are still too much. Uh, let's bring it down because those were getting warm before. Engines disarmed. All right, so let's go back into here. So it went too far, huh? So let's bring. Bring PD gain down. So I like the PD balance up higher. So let's bring that 38 and 41 for PD gain. So let's take it up. Engines armed. Alright, so that time you didn't hear the flutters, right? So that's the PD gain coming down. So we know D terms around. The low 40s are the max, unless we'd start implementing some sort of TPA. That's the wash. I wonder if I, I'm going to bring that, uh, I'm going to keep the D gains at the low 40s, but I'm going to bring the PD balance. I'm going to give myself some more P-term. Engines disarmed. Okay, so we know our D-term now around the 38, like the low 40, like 40, around the 40 is the max we can go. But I want to give myself a little bit more P-term to see if that helps with prop wash. So I'm going to bring my PD balance down and then bring my PD gain slider up. Obviously now I'm getting limited there. If I do 0.7, yeah, 40, 43. So let's do 0.7 and then PD gain slider up to 1.9. That brings my P terms up to 80, you can see right here. So then uh, let's see what that does. See if that helps with prop wash performance or anything. Not really getting bounce back, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. Engines are. And a fresh pack. Hear or see any bounce back. You can almost you almost have to listen for it. I don't hear anything. I don't know if the P if the wash is any better. It's hard to tell. I could say it might even be worse. Oh. See how throttles are. All right, so I don't know. I feel like the prop was maybe a little worse. So I'm going to go back to 0.8. I think that's where we need to be. I'm going to drop this down to the 1.7 so that the 
D-terms in the 40s. And then from here, I'm just going to bring up my feed forward to the defaults. And I'm going to set my feed forward transition back to zero. And pretty much going to call it a day at this. I'll see how this flies. And, uh, but yeah, I think it's pretty good. 38, 40. Yeah, let's, let's go a little, a little tender on that. Let's get this down to 38, 41. To give it a little bit of leeway there. So it's not right up against the D-term oscillation edge. Because I uh, tend to crash these and just kind of bend the prop back a little bit and it's fine. I kind of tend to beat the props up pretty good on these. All right, so let's see what that does. Engines are. That looks good. Let's check out our... Got a little wash, but it's... I think it's better. Yeah, yeah, it's better. You don't get the big jerks in it. Plus, I'm almost done with this pack. Yep. And the throbbles are definitely better. All right, I gotta bring it down. <laughs> Some smooth stuff right there. All right, all right, all right. 3.5, I got it, 3.4. I get it, I get it, I get it. Engines disarmed. One of the things I wanted you to see there too is the max motor frequency hertz thing, right? Where, where is it? Hold on, hold on. Wait for it. Right there, see? So that's my peak FFT frequency. So you can see how the frequencies go up to around eight, you know, 745 hertz. Um, that's where my max motor noise is going up to. So you can, without black box, you can see it. So you can know that in the pit settings, you at least have to go up to there. So I, I think I have it set at 800. So I'm in the good, I'm in the clear there. Okay, so hopefully you can get the gist there of how I tune everything, including a toothpick. Now, even more awesome with the Betaflight app and how you can just move the sliders up and down. No black box used on that one. So I looked at, you know, trying to think of another way instead of just focusing on the PD balance. So I'm not sure uh, if my PD balance is perfectly critically damped, but you can move around with that, that PD balance slider a little bit more. I'm sure it's probably on the heavy side where if the Twitch moves, there's probably a little bit of overshoot, but you don't see any bounce back or anything of that nature in flight. It handles prop wash good. So you can kind of just play with that slider, move it up and down just a little bit. I really do wish the slider was the old way because now every time you move the balance up, you have to then screw around the PD gain. It wasn't like that before, guys. But uh, yeah, so you can just move the PD balance slider up to get more or less P to D ratio and uh, just kind of play with it and see what provides the best uh, flight performance for prop wash handling and things of that nature. Hopefully you found this useful. If you do enjoy content like this, please consider joining my Patreon. Uh, we usually have an additional either a weekly live stream for patrons only or an advanced video on a certain topic for patrons only. I think that's it. Thanks, everybody, and I hope this helped. And, like, smash that like button, please. Because then, I, if, if you guys get me a billion likes, then I can make videos that are Fortnite. So, do you want Fortnite videos or this video? What's better? <laughs>